Before we delve into actually using Pythagoras' theorem, it's a good idea to understand the naming conventions used in right angle triangles. Now here we have a right angle triangle, and we can tell it's right angled if it has a little square in the corner. Now not all questions actually put the little square in the corner, but the question will actually tell you it is a right angle triangle. Opposite the right angle, we have this length here, and it's called the hypotenuse. The corners of the right angle triangle, in fact the corners of any shape, are called a vertex. And it, the plural of this, if we have two or more, well these are vertices. Now vertices are actually assigned capital letters, and here you can see I've got the three vertices called A, B and C. So if we look at this hypotenuse, we can actually name it using those capital letters. In this case, it's going to be called AB. This side here would be called CA or AC, and it is common practice to put these letters in alphabetical order. So if I look at this uh, side down here, we could call it CB, but it is common practice to say BC. Now, as well as naming the sides by the uh, capital letters, we can also use lowercase letters. So the actual side itself would be side C, and side C is actually opposite vertex C. Now you can see I've used a, a lowercase c here. Opposite A, we have lowercase a, and opposite B, we have lowercase b. Now not all triangles are going to use the letters A, B, and C. We can use any letters we wish. For example, it could be D, E, and F. Let's take that triangle here, and the idea is can we identify the hypotenuse in any right angle triangle? Well, quite simply, it's the one facing the right angle, so in that case it's there. In this triangle, that's the hypotenuse, and in this triangle, that's the hypotenuse there. Now when we start naming sides, again we can identify the hypotenuse, which is this one, as AB, and in this one it's the side G. Now after this lecture there is a little quiz for you to test your understanding of actually naming those sides. So have a go, don't skip it, have a go, see how you get on, and you should get 5 out of 5.